your journey to home ownership should ideally start by understanding your credit profile, knowing how much you can afford, and getting your documentation in order. As you may be aware, a higher credit score will in many cases result in banks and other home loan companies offering you a lower interest rate on your loan. This could mean that you can afford a larger house or have more cash for those new home ownership expenses. In addition, consider this. Calculations show that if you are offered an interest rate of 2% above a typical lending rate, your repayment over 20 years can cost you an extra 32%. That is why we advise that when applying for finance, you always approach the financier armed with an application that includes a good credit report with a good credit score. Do you know what your credit score is? Which factors have an impact on your credit score? And perhaps most importantly, how to improve your credit score? Well, simply put, your credit score is calculated by credit bureaus who collect and assess account information received from your creditors and also look at, mm, let's call it your financial behavior. Now, what do credit bureaus factor in when calculating your score? 35% of your credit score depends on your payment history. A good track record of regular on-time payments will improve your credit score. Missing payments, or worse still, only making payments 30 days after the due date will lower your score. You get it. Here they are looking for a history of good behavior in terms of making payments. The next 30% of your score depends on your outstanding debt percentage. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? Well, to explain, let's use an example where a borrower has different loans and credit facilities and where the original outstanding loan balances total 10,000 Rand. After a few years, the borrower has managed to bring down the outstanding balances to 3,500 Rand or 35% of the original 10,000 Rand loan amount. Lowering your outstanding debt percentage by a large amount will improve your credit score. Failing to do so may decrease your credit score and that means a higher interest rate and or qualifying for a smaller bond. Okay, on to the third factor. 15% of your credit score depends on the age of your credit accounts. The longer the period you have had credit, the better your score will be. Factor 4. 10% of your credit score depends on just how many new loans or inquiries for new loans you are making over a certain period. If over, let's say, a few months, you take out quite a few loans and or inquire regularly about obtaining loans, your credit score will decrease. This is because to credit bureaus, it looks like you are constantly shopping around for credit and rely on debt to survive. The last 10% depends on the types of loans you have. Typically, home loans or vehicle loans will have a better impact on your credit score than, say, credit card debt or short-term revolving loans. What most people I ever want to know is, how can I most easily improve my credit score? Well, if you consider that 65% of your credit score is influenced by just two factors, namely payment history and outstanding debt percentage, the message becomes clear. 1. Pay your accounts regularly and on time. And 2. Have a disciplined approach to bring down your existing loan balances as quickly as possible. Yep, like that. But here's the catch. Without taking out new debt, a good tip is to put debit orders in place and ensure your payments go off in good time. You may view your free credit profile by linking to our service provider's My Bond Fitness program and get an indication of your credit profile status. Easy to read dashboard screens will assist you in understanding your credit score. Login details will be sent to you by SMS or email. Look for the My Bond Fitness invitation. My Bond Fitness also provides a debt repair and affordability service. All you need to get started is to log on to My Bond Fitness. When you apply for a bond, financial institutions will consider both your credit history as well as your affordability. Drawing up an accurate monthly household budget will assist in determining what you can afford and where you could possibly adjust your budget to improve your affordability. So, how do you go about drawing up a budget? Unlike what you might believe, budgeting isn't all about restricting what you spend your money on or cutting out all the fun in your life. It's really about setting and meeting your financial goals 
by understanding how much money you have, where it goes, and then planning on how to best allocate those funds to reach your goals. Your goals could include saving for a down payment on a car, mm -hmm. getting out of debt, saving for retirement, putting your kids through college, or traveling. Without goals, your budget will just be a pair of handcuffs. Now, list your income and using your last three months bank statements and even till slips, record all your monthly expenditure. Cash spending is the biggest leak in most budgets. Cash disappears quickly and if you don't write down everything you spend it on, your budget will not help you much. Identify good or bad spending patterns that you may not have been aware of when you weren't tracking your spending. When it comes to working out your budget each month, you need to distinguish between those items you really need and the items you want to have, and then have the discipline to stick to the items and amounts listed in your budget. The My Bond Fitness online application can help you understand your credit profile as well as assist you to compile an accurate budget based on your last three months expenditure. This is an excellent base from which to start. If you have prepared your personal budget of income and expenses, you can compare your own budget with a My Bond Fitness budget as it will have an automated summary of your personal banking transactions over the past three months. This will be a good reality check for you. As noted earlier, we will send you an SMS or email invitation for the My Bond Fitness web link. Note that registration is free. Once you're logged in, you can learn more about your credit profile and affordability or start preparing to buy your home in three easy steps. Step one would be to know your credit profile. Step two would be to assess your affordability using an easy and quick online process. If you are ready to buy, the third and final step would be to upload key documents to your personal My Bond Fitness profile to potentially speed up the home buying process. These will include your payslip, identity document, proof of address and sale agreement once you have signed it. If you have completed the first two steps, we would already have your credit report, affordability analysis, bank statements and budget over the last three months in place.